Now, the last interesting thing that's a holdover from thinking about startups as smaller versions of large companies is kind of the hardest to get your head around. And that's large companies, they have VPs of sales. Well, we need a VP of sales on day one. Large companies, they have heads of marketing. I need a head of marketing. And large companies, they have biz dev and all those external organizations. We need those too. Without ever thinking about what's the point? Why is it that we want to duplicate these same organizations? Because if you're a founder like I was, boy, you really want someday to see you on top and look at all these nice silos working for me. Isn't this great? And look, they're all doing their jobs, etc. I have to tell you, if this is your vision on day one, you are already out of business. Because we now know that functional organizations actually are the wrong way to set up sales marketing and biz dev on day one. What we now know is that the founders need to run what's called the customer development team. And a customer development team says, listen, we're not going to have sales marketing and biz dev on day one. We're not going to hire a VP of sales on day one. We're actually going to have the founder get out of the building. And later in this lecture, we'll explain why. It's a really big idea to understand for organization, you need the founders spending at least 20% of their time outside the building, understanding customers' problems and needs, and figuring out how that matches with the feature set you're building before you start organizing in functional organizations and silos. The other thing I'll mention, which I'll uh, expand on later in this course, is that one of the mistakes that we've also made for decades is confusing the titles, sales marketing and biz dev, with the job specifications. It turns out that the title VP of sales has a very different job spec in a large company than it does in a startup. A VP of marketing does very different things in a large company than they do in a startup. And for years we could never uh, explain why is it that incredibly competent executives who've been executing, executing business models in large corporations collapse in startups when their company is smaller than their administrative staff in their large corporation. It turns out the job specification, what we do day to day, has nothing similar 